price is so high, you may have considered turning to public transportation. Well, political reporter Ben Winslow is on Capitol Hill, where the idea of free fare forever is being advanced. It's the notion of riding UTA without ever paying a fare. Utah Transit Authority CEO spoke to lawmakers about the idea of zero fare, but some lawmakers are a little reluctant to jump on board that particular train. Now, what UTA found was a big jump in ridership as a result of making fares free across its system back in February. But as we all know, it's not really free. Local governments and community partners ended up paying about two and a half million to cover the cost of lost fare. But transit is a critical component of Utah's future, especially with our massive growth. The legislature's interim transportation committee was told they simply can't add more lanes to I-15. Right now, studies are underway to explore the concept of a zero fare UTA. It's looking at it from cost to impact on traffic and air pollution to economic return on investment. This is a policy decision for for the state to make. Uh, you know, the viability is is a, is a function of studying the issue, and and I think it's studying on many fronts. It's operations. It's um, uh, you know, what's the capital requirement? And most of all, you know, do, do we get a return on investment? When I say we, I'm talking about all Utahns. Do we get a return on investment for moving the operational costs that are covered by fare uh, to the public? One lawmaker suggested the idea of a pilot project kind of expanding on free fare February to see the benefits and the impact of doing that. Other lawmakers had more concerns about the idea of zero fare. They would like to see more increases in frequency for buses and trains, particularly in the south end of the Salt Lake Valley. Studies are also underway right now about double tracking front runner across the system with the goal of having trains running every 15 minutes. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.